Hey everybody, welcome back! Ordinary Average Bob here, today with a quick how-to video uh, on how to get all these stubborn items that are in the lava in the Iron Keep. It's a pain in the butt, uh, but I've been able to do it, and I'd like to show you how I did it. Alright, so the first thing we wanted to make sure we have in our inventory, uh, a couple of things. Uh, we're going to need these orange burrs from, uh, I think it's Rosabeth or Rosaland, the, the lady that we thought out at the beginning of the Shaded Woods, the one who does a pyromancer. She sells these orange burrs, so go pick up some. I only have seven. Hopefully that's going to be enough for this tutorial. And then you're also going to want your flame quartz ring. This is a quartz ring plus one. So obviously I've gone through a lot of the game uh, already. Um, so make sure it, the more upgraded this ring is, the better. Uh, I've done it all with the plus one though, it's, and it's been okay. And then the other thing that you want to make sure that you have is flash sweat. Uh, the spell is also sold by the same uh, lady that we saved. Uh, you're going to need Flash Sweat uh, to, in order to survive. So, the first item here, uh, which I've already gotten, but it's normally over there by that skull. It's a little item. It's a human effigy. Uh, it's real easy to get, uh, and the strategy is pretty much going to be the same thing for each item. So what you're going to want to do uh, is put Flash Sweat on yourself, and this one does not require a small orange burr. Uh, what you want to make sure though is you have Estus flasks and you want to make sure that you're human and you have maximum health. So while you're sweating you just run out there, go over to it, start chugging your Estus flasks and do like three and then you'll have time to get the item and then run on back. See I got lots of health still. Woo! Ah, and I made it. Okay, get around the eye. Okay, I'll rest at the bonfire. Get my spells back. Uh, a couple of things uh, that I also recommend, don't do this if you have any souls, because it took me several tries to do all of these, um, and if I had had souls I'd be really ticked off that I lost them all. So you can see there's a there's my soul thing down there that has no souls in it, because I was kind of practicing to make sure that I could even do this. So to get the second item, it's out there, it's a bonfire ascetic. Uh, you want to run off of that, uh, well not run, but walk full paste. If you run you might overlap the uh, the rock here but then uh, we're gonna have to kind of run onto this lava rock then jump off heal up and do the same. So this one only requires flash sweat so I'm gonna go ahead and I know I'm still sweating but I'm gonna redo my flash sweat. My health is at maximum and this doesn't even require a jump off of this you can just run. So we'll just run Oops. Okay. Ha. Try this again. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna get on the end of the rock here, so I can make sure that I can run up to speed. And hit my flash sweat. We should be able to make it running across the rocks. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Whew. Now, just to make sure I can make it, I'm gonna go ahead and use another human effigy, which really is quite a bummer, but. Uh, it is what it is, and we'll life jam it up so I'm human. Let's not hop too many times. Let's see, what's my health look like? Let's Estus flask it up. Now, I think what probably wouldn't hurt also, uh, once we hop over to that lava rock, if we swigged a couple of um, Estus flasks, I think we'll be okay. So, I'm going to flash sweat again. Bam. Let's take it on my running room in. I will eat a small orange burr. Get my SS flask ready. And run and jump. And then chug a couple SS flasks. And then run across. Ah, whoo. There's the item. Bonfire setting. See? That wasn't so bad. Ugh, that's actually the hardest one that there is. So I'm going to use a homeward bone to go back to the bonfire, and then we'll head to the other chests. Okay, so here we are at the location of chest number two. Now, if you remember this area, 
I'm sure you do. Uh, chest number two is down there whoop, in the lava. All right, so we're going to need a couple of different things equipped for this uh, to get this chest. I am going to also need, we won't need this. I'll need my silver cat ring because I'm going to be falling. All right, and then we need to go this way and activate the healing pool or the water pool on top of this tower. So pray for me, hope I make it. It was so close, I hate that jump. Oh man, I hate it. All right, climb on up. And here's this lockstone contraption. I'm gonna go ahead and use one. And it's gonna fill it up with water. Fill it with water! So, roll around in it, splash around in it, get yourself all nice and wet. We're gonna need it to help us not burn in the water. All right, so that looks good enough. Let's run back. You wanna hurry, don't waste your time. So I'm going to, got my ring on, I'm gonna eat a small orange burr. I'm gonna tap my flash sweat. And then I'm gonna drop on down. And I'm gonna test this flask, and you can see how slowly my health is going down. Come on, hurry up, open it! Phoenix Parma, nice. And then let's get out of here. Oh, whew. Well, that lasted quite a bit. All right, so that's the first chest. Let's head on to the second chest. All right, so chest number two is down there. There's also an item by the stairs uh, there that we can get as well. Let's head on up here. Oops. Before we do that though, gosh darn it. Ugh, we need to pull the lever. I forgot. Because we need to get up top. Sweet. Nice and roll through all these jugs of water here. Nice and wet. Head on down. It may not help that I don't have full health because I'm not human, but we're going to give this a shot. Just using flash sweat and the water. Rondo. Cat ring. Ooh, it's better. It's much better. Ask this flask. Open the chest. Oh yeah, that's much better. Same piece of cake, man. Chaos Storm spell, that is awesome. So we'll test this flask a couple more times. And we'll head on down here, we'll get this item. Fire Seed, and we'll head on up. Head on out. All right. So that's it. Uh, I think what I've learned from this is don't use flash sweat and an orange burr because they seem to cancel each other out and the flash sweat is way more efficient than the orange burr is. So make sure you've got some water, get nice and wet, pop on your flash sweat, make sure you've got Estes flasks to chug, you know, and chug multiple Estes flasks, maybe two or three, that'll keep pumping your health back up and you should be able to get them. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like. If you have any other suggestions, if I could do it even better, leave them below in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. That would be great. Become a subscriber today. Until next time, peace out. Smile later!